Dragon Ball Daima is becoming an epic space adventure and I am loving it. Daima episode 3 is literally Star Wars. From this epic cantina fight scene to our new character Gloria that is clearly inspired by a specific Star Wars character. And I'll explain it all in detail, but first, what exactly happened in the latest episode of the weird, wacky and wild? Dragon Ball Dime. Episode 3 starts off with Goku, Gloria, and Supreme Kai traveling to the Demon Realm, and we immediately find Goku talking mad sh to the goldfish teleporter, Warp Summer. I am curious about the power scaling of Mr. Warp Summer. Is he like the dragon Shenron? Can he throw down? Questions to be answered, but we are for sure going to see more of Mr. Warp Summer. To get to the Demon Realm, you must go inside the goldfish's mouth and get shitted out to one of the three sections of the Demon Realm, appropriately named the first, second, and third Demon World. There is some sort of class system at play in the demon realm, with beings from the first demon world having the most access slash freedom across the realm. Glorio is from the third demon world. Third world. Is this a mirror to our society? Gets you thinking, doesn't it? But apparently Glorio gets to travel between each world freely because he works for someone from the first demon world. Or so he says, the sneaky bugger. We also find out that the Supreme Kai is from a race called the Glyn race, which is pretty cool, I guess. Is that gonna be a thing? I don't know. Who gives a about Supreme Kai. A lot of world building in this episode, actually. We learn the structure of the demon realm. Air be thick as f There's also floating volcanoes that smell like ass, and there's a black sea of death, and Goku does a little fart. And that's exactly how I like my Dragon Ball. Some fights, farts, and some funny times. Now, once Goku and the gang get to the main city of the third demon world, this is when it becomes straight up Star Wars, and it's freaking awesome. From the alien designs and voice actors to a pretty dope fight scene in a cantina. This is now officially Star Ball Z. Glorio looking straight up like a blue Han Solo shooting people with his bounty hunting blaster. And Goku Skywalker using his lightsaber, I mean power pulse, to beat the shit out of some unfriendly foes. This entire interaction felt like classic Dragon Ball. I was loving every second of it. And by the end of the episode, we see Glorio's plane has been stolen, leaving Goku and the gang stranded. And that is pretty much everything that happened in episode 3. I love the Star Wars vibe it had and the great world building of the Demon Realm. It really is a not so typical Dragon Ball episode. Yes, we've had some space adventures in the past like Namek, but this one was just a little bit different. Everything is getting a lot more fleshed out here and I can see the characters returning to this place in future Dragon Ball projects. And honestly, I'm hoping for a new Demon Realm map in Sparking Zero. That damn game needs more maps, I'm telling you. Here are some negatives on the episode is that it once again moved a little too slow for my liking. And honestly, the animation quality dropped a little bit compared to the last two episodes, which had fantastic animation. I was expecting this, but at least it's nothing like Uzumaki, thank f But it was a pretty solid episode that has me excited to see more of the Demon Realm. And hopefully we get some more higher quality action scenes in the upcoming episodes, and give me some more Star Wars X Dragon Ball, a combination I did not know I wanted until now. Anyways, that's it. Bye-bye.